In today's video, we're going to be going over Hurricane Fiona. Yes, that's right. It is now a hurricane out there in the Atlantic. We also have some big cooldowns to talk about and some upcoming storminess. Let's just get straight into things, though. And first things first, we're taking a look here at our current radar imagery. As you can see, we do have some storminess there along the western United States. That big storm system we've been talking about for a while that was going to impact California is now there. We will zoom in in just a little bit and take a look at that one. There is some storminess across the plains throughout some of these states like South Dakota, Nebraska, Missouri, Illinois. We'll talk about those in a minute. The southeast and the Gulf states are seeing some of that storminess that is very, very typical this time of year. And then the northeast over top here is seeing quite a bit of this storminess up here as well as a storm system just moves across here in this region. Now let's zoom into the northwest first things first and we'll just move south down that coast. But we can see that there is some storminess heading northward through these regions. Uh, and this is leading towards some spotty showers. Keep that in mind. We have more persistent rainfall happening here in Northern California there and Nevada as well as portions of Oregon. San Francisco Bay area northward is really where we're talking about mostly here. We can tell the low pressure system is somewhere around here probably. Uh, and this is just leading towards a lot of storminess spreading in uh, through the state of California. This will continue to impact the region through the coming days. So we'll be talking more about that. So be sure to tune in daily. We can see that there is some thunderstorms and showers around for this pocket as well. Just some storms out and about here uh, during the morning time as we're kind of approaching the high temperatures here of today. We can see that for the Gulf of Mexico, we do have some showery and spotty isolated thunderstorms out here. This is very typical this time of year. Uh, we definitely, definitely uh, are going to start to see this wind down this season as we're approaching October and into November. We're going to see this really slow down as we approach the more wintertime climate. There is some storminess happening offshore of the southeast and portions of, you know, onshore of the southeast. We do have a water spout potentially that took place here offshore of Charleston, South Carolina. As you can see, we got a report of that. So people probably saw that off the beach. I'm sure it's a great weekend to be at the beach. Uh, we can see that there is just this storm system kind of sitting out here off the southeast coast. And occasionally it's throwing a storm uh, on shore or two here for some of these states. And that's kind of leading towards some impacts up there. And then as we take a look at Canada and the northeast, we can see that there is just this elongated pocket of storminess that is just spreading through the region just like this. And this will lead towards more and more storminess here for our New England states later on. Keep that in mind. We're seeing that spreading through northern New York there, uh, and it'll start to impact more like Vermont, New Hampshire, Maine, Massachusetts eventually as this storm system moves down. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to move on and we're going to focus on the upcoming pattern. We're going to be going over that storminess, temperature pattern, precipitation, snowfall, and Hurricane Fiona. Now, here we are taking a look at the upcoming storminess. Let me just move it towards this afternoon. We can see more and more storminess here for the southeast. We see this storm system fully engulfing here into the northeast. We see that storm still offshore for California. And then there is just some spots with some storminess in between uh, that aren't as uh, major at this point. Now, by the time we start next week here on Monday, September 19th here, we're going to have a little bit more action. We have our hurricane here over Dominican Republic. Uh, up and down the east coast, there's some spots with some precipitation, especially the southeast and the northeast there. Uh, we can see portions of California seeing rainfall, but not only rainfall, we see some snowfall there for the mountain tops. We'll talk about that in a minute. We see that the Rockies are about to get a bit of a snowstorm here. Uh, and there is some storminess kind of monsoon activity here in Colorado and, U or, and uh, New Mexico trying to take place. Now, as we take this towards Tuesday afternoon, this will be September 20th. Can't believe we're that far into September already. We see that primarily the west is where we're seeing a lot of our storminess here. Isolated and scattered activity taking place for California, uh, Oregon there, and up and down the Rockies as well. There is a bit of a low up here in Canada, and this is causing a lot of the action that we're seeing on this frame. The Northeast still dealing with some storminess, and Hurricane Fiona now is north of Dominican Republic there. Now by Wednesday, which will be September 21st, we see this strong low, 991, and then we see this intense cold front dipping down. And then we see Hurricane Fiona just chilling out there, kind of scary having it this close to the East Coast. There's very few models showing something close to the East Coast at this point. There is a couple uh, that I've been watching, but most have it curving straight out to sea, which is really, really good news. We're not completely 
clear of this storm having any chance of hitting the East Coast, but it has greatly diminished over the past two days. We see that this low here, again, is causing this cold front that's stretching all the way into the Rockies. We'll see this move down. I'm just going to go frame by frame. And just like I was talking about yesterday, we see that this is an actual active cold front with lots of storminess along it. So this is going to be a very impactful cold front, not one of those ones that just changes the temperatures, but this is going to be one of those ones that brings a pretty hefty punch with it as well with some thunderstorms and precipitation in general uh, with it. As we reach those high temperatures on Thursday, we could see some storminess still along this cold front here. Look at that. We can clearly see where it is. Hurricane Fiona is still hanging out. And out west, plenty of storminess taking place out there as well. Definitely interesting to see. And then by Friday the 23rd, that cold front moves out. We have cold temperatures in the east. Uh, and we have a little bit of storminess here for the central and the northwestern United States. But overall, a lot quieter than things have been. And we get through the weekend kind of that way. Um, even towards Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Um, so mid next week, or this won't even be next week. This will be like two weeks from now, mid 10 days from now, uh, midweek, we're going to be seeing another cold front slash storm system trying to punch its way through the northeastern United States, bringing cold temperatures with it and plenty of precipitation. Now, speaking of precipitation, total precipitation through the next 10 days, if you're in the whites, we expect practically no precipitation over the next 10 days. Your grays will be about a tenth of an inch or less. Your greens will be a tenth of an inch to half an inch. Your blues will be half an inch to an inch. Your yellows will be an inch to two inches. Your reds will be two to five inches. And then your browns will be five to ten inches of precipitation. Now, as we move towards snowfall here, we can see more and more of this showing up every day, basically. But up and down the Rockies, there's some chances at some snowfall for the mountain peaks. And even our Sierra Nevada mountains here we're seeing some of that activity pop up as well. Uh, so if you're anywhere in the grays, we're expecting a dusting, if anything. And then those blue areas will be two to six inches of snowfall. Very, very interesting. And we're seeing this become more and more widespread. Obviously, as we reach October, November, this will become much, much more widespread. So we're going to see this grow daily, basically, uh, from this point forward, most likely. Now, as far as the temperature pattern, let's just take a look at it. We're in a bit of a warm-up at this point, And historic heat is going to be possible here in these gray areas in this region, just out ahead of this strong, strong cold front. We see these are gonna be about 20 to 30 degrees above normal, which is a very, very significant departure from what's typical, obviously, in the warm direction. Even Thursday here, for a lot of the Gulf states and the Southeast states, things are gonna be much warmer than normal, about 10 to even 20 degrees above normal for a lot of these deeper red and gray areas. But we can see that there is a massive Arctic blast right behind it, low here. And we're seeing this cold front stretch in, causing a lot of cold air to just push the warm air out. And it will succeed at that. We can see by Friday, we see most of our eastern United States is in the below normal temperatures as this Arctic blast sets in. These green areas are far below normal temperatures. So expect very far below normal temperatures for a couple of days there. And then we see the warmth move back in, more neutral temperatures here for the earlier week, uh, about a week from now, Monday, the 26th. Tuesday, Wednesday, and we can see another Arctic blast trying to move in uh, by the time we're reaching that point. So again, this is when that low is causing cold air to just dive straight southward here into these regions. Could be seeing multiple cooldowns in the upcoming pattern. Definitely can't be uh, ruled out for sure. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at our cone forecast for Hurricane Fiona. Now, here we are taking a look at our cone forecast for Hurricane Fiona. And as you can see, it truly is a hurricane here as of 11 a.m. this morning, uh, maximum sustained winds are 80 miles per hour. Definitely a very, very strong storm. And we're expecting this one to move straight around Puerto Rico and Dominican Republic, possibly bringing direct impacts to both coasts. Not even possibly. There will be many, many impacts to both countries, but possibly coming on shore to either. Uh, and then we expect it by 8 a.m. on Wednesday to become a major hurricane, at least Category 3 by that point. And we do expect a kind of northeastern curve here to where it'll be heading more in the Bermuda direction rather than the east coast of the United States there. But anything is possible. We can't really rule out it turning towards the coast. I have seen a couple of spaghetti models still trying to show that at this point. And this one has just completely gone against forecasts from day one, basically. So definitely definitely continue to pay attention just in case anything is possible with this storm. Be sure to subscribe as we'll check all this stuff out daily. We do upload daily.
Be sure to like the video if you did enjoy it and leave a comment down below with your thoughts. I'll see you guys in the next video.